to you Redditors aged 50 plus, what's something you genuinely believe young people haven't realized yet, but could enrich their lives or positively impact their outlook on life? If you are watching this, leave your favorite fruit emoji in the comments. Everybody fucks up, it's what you do after that matters. Two things I will be eternally grateful to my grandfather for instilling in me. Failure is not an end state unless it is where you choose to stop. He loved to quote that line by Churchill whenever something didn't work out for me, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Honesty is the most powerful tool you can use to define yourself. Admit your mistake, frankly and honestly. The truth always comes out in the end no matter how big or small and it doesn't get better with age. You can give back something you steal, you can help those you hurt, but once they brand you a liar, it's all you will ever be. Wonderful words. Failures are lessons. I wouldn't be half of the man I am today without my failures. This. Not being able to admit when you're wrong will know nothing but cause you problems, and often I've seen people actively make things asterisk worse asterisk because they're so afraid of just being wrong. There are an incalculable amount of things to know in the world. Humans have limited brain space. Getting things wrong is asterisk inevitable for all humans everywhere throughout time and space star. You are asterisk asterisk not the exception dot asterisk asterisk right this very moment, every person reading this, yes, you, is wrong, has been wrong, and will be wrong about something. There has never nor will there ever be a human being who is never wrong. I have seen people destroy their own relationships and reputations because of this idiotic pride in being always correct. Here's the harsh truth, you look like a child having a tantrum when you do this. You're not saving your pride, you're being an asshole. Knowing and accepting the reality that you are not infallible and you're capable of misunderstanding, mishearing, or just not knowing something will get you a hell of a lot farther. No one is responsible for managing your ego. One positive thing I am 100% confident saying about myself is I own my mistakes. I will not deny, try to blame others, etc. Regardless of consequence, I made the mistake and I hope I get to learn from it. This is a quality I wish more people had. I think inability to admit that they are wrong is one of the most dependable and accurate indicators of a person being a complete asshole. Stop thinking you life is about being the most productive person you can be. Find interesting hobbies that make you feel good and are good for you. Your soul deserves to experience some of your own dreams, don't waste all of your time working towards the dreams of your company's owners. I met a guy who was really proud that his children were producers. He was meaning that they earned money, as opposed to takers who live on government money but it was such a bizarre way to describe their value in purely monetary terms rather than that they were actually nice people. Was watching the Thomas the Train and they really trying to push that being a useful engine is like the only thing that matters. My friend, could you make sure you all are subscribed? It helps me a ton. Struggling with this right now. I have plenty of hobbies that I enjoy, more that I would like to try out. Unfortunately, they all require tools supplies, and materials. So right now I'm working a job that pays well, but takes up all the time I'd rather be spending on hobbies, so I can afford the stuff I need to do those hobbies. I'm not over 50, but I'm gonna quote someone who is. Figure out who you are, and then do it on purpose. Dolly Parton Reading books is awesome. You can't change other people but you can ignore them. Tide yourself. Invest 10% of your income before other expenses. There are times in life when you can't but get back on it as soon as possible. Don't wait to be financially comfortable. Never stop learning. Not just about academic topics, but about the world. Take non-binary gender identities. It is not for us to declare that silly or made up. Instead, listen and learn. Just because a concept is new to you, doesn't make it nonsense. Not least because, as I quickly discovered during a Wikipedia trip, the idea has existed for thousands of years, just not in the West. You've got to let go of your ego. You don't feel 50 when you're 50. I feel 27 or 28. 
Change happens slowly so you don't always notice it. Please vote. Those people in charge have a lot of power to determine important things in your life. For example, abortion and that affects both male and female obviously. Get your faces out of your phones, you can't tick-tock your way through life. Hey, my friend, we appreciate your support and would love it if you could BOOP the like button. Not having children is an option. You don't need to follow the life script, grow up, get married, have kids. Way too many people have kids, because they thought that was what people do. Nope. It is possibly the most serious choice you will ever make. That said, think long and hard about it. Think of the lost sleep, having less money, the possibly serious physical complications of the mother, the immense stress. Is all that worth a few Kodak moments? Lay off the social media, get your head out of your phone, and look at the world around you more. Also realize that no matter how bad things are, there's always someone having it way off worse off than you. Not 50 plus but. I'm starting to understand that time is our most valuable asset, not money. Spend time with loved one and take care of yourself physically and mentally. Your time could end soon so don't waste it. 53 here. You aren't important. At all. You mean nothing. You know nothing. Your opinion means nothing. You are zero. Expect zero. Expect nothing. Ignore people who think they are important. Ignore people who think they know everything. It will set you free. The above is the long version of you do you. The only caveat to that is understanding that if you want 100 from something you have to put more than 100 into it. There are always frictional losses. Entropy. Also, practice politeness. It's hard to do, but politeness leads to kindness. Kindness leads to compassion. Reclaim your kindness. You were born with it. Unless you don't mind hearing e like all the time day and night, use hearing protection in loud situations. Tinnitus is a bitch. There are decibel reading apps for phones these days. Turn your music on to the level you listen at then open it up the app and see what level it is. OHSA rules are hearing protection has to be required by employers if you work in an environment at 85 dB or above. It got louder once I read this. Growing up, everyone blasted their Walkmans and CD players into their heads with headphones. I did not. I've always been protective of my hearing. Now I'm 33 and still have textbook perfect hearing, according to my ENT doctor. It's my only perfect sense. When I was 19, I kept hearing a Rolling Stone song quietly playing at night, but couldn't figure out where TF it came from. My friends genuinely thought I was losing my mind because they didn't hear it. Went on for months until I realized that even though my television was turned off, the sound from the still on PlayStation was playing through the speakers of the television. It was one of those old big boxy televisions. I had been hearing some version of Guitar Hero playing through its speakers. I worked in the music industry for like 15 years. My very first day a hardened old industry guy with face tattoos, in 2007, looked me right in the fucking soul and said to me wear your earplugs every day, no music is good enough that you'll want to trade your hearing for it. Wear them every day. He said this in a stern but caring way. I listened to him. A decade and a half later I'm recently not working in entertainment anymore and I have no tinnitus. I feel like that guy saved me that day. I'm a hearing scientist and I agree. Hearing isn't valued as a sensory function or as a healthcare domain. It's so hard getting people to care until the damage is done. Hearing loss and tinnitus are related to increased stress, increased anxiety, increased depression, and other quality of life issues. Hearing loss is also linked to cognitive decline and is believed to be the largest modifiable risk factor for dementia, according to the 2020 Lancet report. Insurance doesn't cover much for hearing in the US, so it's best to be proactive on your end. And fun fact for everyone reading, 
tinnitus is pronounced like tinnitus slash tinnitus. Many people pronounce it like tinnitus. Most hearing healthcare professionals won't correct you, we know what you mean. However, pronouncing it that way is giving it the ending itis, such as in the tendinitis. This medical ending indicates an inflammatory issue. Tinnitus is pronounced differently because there is a distinction.